I'm Jim Acker, the owner of Northern Pioneer Helicopters in Big Lake, Alaska. I've been flying helicopters in Alaska for 27 years now. In Alaska, we have a short season for construction and uh, field work. Being located in the Susitna Valley, we do a lot of uh, remote cabin packages and, and equipment hauling for folks living in the uh, remote areas in this part of Alaska. The only way I was going to get into the place before winter set in was to have it slung in by helicopter. There is no alternative to either a float plane or a helicopter. So for a very economical price and everything in on a day, I was building and I was in my cabin by a month and a half from the time that it got there. I mentioned the helicopter is we had a little backhoe to take in. One of my neighbors did. And the helicopter is used to fuel the uh, um, cell phone tower up there. He contacted them, had them pick up his little backhoe, delivered it up to his property. See, the float plane can't handle 1,800 pounds. <laughs> so the uh, backhoe was suspended on ropes and everything under the helicopter. Works great. We save our customers a lot of time and expense by being uh, efficient and uh, getting their jobs done quickly. And it's uh, very cost efficient to use our helicopters uh, compared to time, both time-wise and money-wise compared to hauling it in over the ground. Uh, part of uh, the aviation life here in Alaska is, is the retrieval of airplane wrecks and, and planes in the bush. Uh, we put a lot of effort into uh, rigging and flying those out safe, safely and efficiently. Uh, we'll haul planes in from the bush up to two, 250 miles from here. Um, a lot of the planes end up in the wilderness areas or the refuges and they have to be removed. And uh, the value of, of the, the wrecks is such that uh, it's worth going to get them. We work for government agencies and private companies. Uh, some of the work we do includes uh, drill moves, uh, flying of fuel for various repeaters and telecommunication companies. The remote sites we refuel are uh, 50 to 100 miles off any road, usually with towers and buildings on site, so we have to use up to a 150 foot long line to uh, get the fuel bladders into position. We operate three UH-1 helicopters. Our, our newest addition to the fleet is uh, the, the H model we have. Uh, 703 November Papa, and this machine allows us to operate up to eight, 9,000 feet uh, with maximum loads here in Alaska, uh, which accommodates the uh, glacier retrieval of planes and also uh, te telecommunication uh, construction and uh, work on the higher sites. The UH-1s are uh, capable of carrying payloads up to 4,000 pounds. Well, we're flying Voyage old Jeep, 41 Willys, and the generator to Big Lake. He's going to sell it and put it in a net and get it back to town. Yeah. So essentially, Doug, we're throwing it in a net? Put it in a net, haul it to home. And how far is that? 60? 50-something. Yeah, 50-something yeah, miles. So we're in the middle of nowhere, huh? Long ways away. Long ways for a Jeep to go flying. Yeah. Forty-one Willys Jeep from a lake nearby that uh, the owner wants to resell. His only option getting it back to the road system was via the helicopter we had. Due to the size of the, the state we operate in, having three helicopters allows us to stage our aircraft in various spots and help defray the ferry costs for our customers. The UE helicopters we fly are very labor intensive and having mechanics on staff that have years and years of experience on them is really the, one of the most important parts of our operation. All of our pilots have at least 10,000 hours of uh, flight time 
with the majority of that doing uh, external load operations. What's the job today? Uh, we're delivering a uh, fuel bladder up to Shell Mountain. We need 150 foot to clear the tower. Uh, Brent's been with us now for two seasons and he's a, a high time utility pilot from New Zealand. Does very well on the drill jobs and the precision long line work that we specialize in. Uh, due, to the, due to the rugged terrain in Prince William Sound area, we work off barges and boats quite a bit, as well as the remote beaches. We're only an hour's flying time from uh, the Valdez area from here, and has, have spent a lot of time building and, and working on the telecommunication sites in that part of the state in the last several years. Yeah, we've found that with the third helicopter, we're, we're much more able to uh, respond to customers' needs on a shorter time basis, especially in the summer when, when things are real busy.